Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again. I guess this is the start to season two. We're in the new lab, we got new stuff, but the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make another electric bike. And we're going to start with an electric motor, just like the one that we got from the, uh, that I have on the electric trike already. Uh, it's a really good power package. It's got a, like a 750 watt motor on it. It's either 500 750 watt, something like that. Lots of torque out of it. Uh, already goes 90 degrees into a gearbox here, so that's really nice. So, we're going to look at mounting this. This one, since uh, the chain on the bike goes that way, we'll have this one on here, and it's going to be going this direction. As you can see, I already wrote an arrow which direction it'll be turning. And we'll just set that aside. I decided to go a little different. I'm not going to use a chain drive on this one because I've been having problems with the motor having a lot of torque. And so much torque it'll break a chain because you know chain's only made for like one human power and we're almost putting one horse through it. So we're going to go with a belt drive. Now what I did is uh, I checked out some of the things that I have. Uh, these hubs for the uh, electric wheelchair motors are pretty easy to adapt to just about anything. Uh, this is a this has got five holes on it, which makes it really easy to bike, uh, put a bicycle sprocket on it, because most of them have five posts, and they're usually spaced out about the same. But we'll save this one for another project, because we're going belt drive. What I did is I took the hub from this particular motor, which I'll drag back into frame here, and put an old, this is off an old Ford pickup truck. This was the, I believe this was the smog pump pulley. I needed a nice big pulley to put on there, and uh, put it on there. And then after I got this centered and uh, and the hole uh, and the uh, bolts dropped into it, then I drilled it out so it'll be the same size as the uh, the hub itself. And this is going to give me two options. I'll lay this motor back down here. I can either put it so this the hub here sits pretty far up on the uh, edge of the gearbox which if you're using a bicycle you don't want you know you don't want this to be all the way out here because you want to get this weight here to the center of your gravity if possible so what we'll do is we'll flip it over and bolt it in like this and it'll give us perfect amount of room and clearances the motor so when we have the drive belt on it it'll go perfectly across the motor or anywhere we need to go. Uh, these V-belts, uh, another reason why I'm using a V-belt is you can pick up a V-belt at any hardware store or auto parts store. Uh, they're used in heavy machinery, uh, industrial equipment, cars, you name it, it usually has a V-belt on it. Uh, most newer cars will run like a multi-slotted serpentine belt or something like that, but I always know I can find these at like a tractor supply or a uh, you know, an auto park store or something like that. So, moving along from there, I'm going to turn the camera up a little bit here. Oop. Oop, I made my camera mount loose. Anyhow, we're going to be hooking it up to this. And this will be uh, somehow grafted onto a bicycle rim. Or if we do a uh, axled configuration, this one will be right on the axle. And this will spin, uh, this will spin about two and a half times to every time this one goes around once. So it's not going to give us much of a speed boost as opposed to, you know, using a uh, sprocket to chain. But with the belt, it'll just be easier to operate. Uh, belts have a little bit of flexibility, so, you know, the bicycle chains that I've been using tend to jump off just because they have so much torque on them, they stretch out. And if a V-belt stretches out, you just get yourself a tensioner for it, and it'll already have a tensioner on it when we build it. And if it starts stretching out a bit, we just put a little more tension in the tensioner, and it works perfectly fine. So if you guys have any ideas on uh, where, uh, what direction you want me to go with this project, since we're just up to the motor, uh, if you got any neat ideas, let me know. And until next time, build stuff and have fun.